Hi. I think I have Netflix for two years right now, and I've been addicted to it. Fortunately, my watching time has reduced. <laughs> In two years, you can watch lots of series and movies. I have watched like over 10 series. So I'm gonna tell you 10 Netflix series you have to watch. So we're gonna start with number one. As far as I can remember, this is the first series that I have ever watched on Netflix. And that is Pretty Little Love. And that is Pretty Little Love. And that is Pretty Little Liars. So this series has the genre of mystery, drama, romance, like everything is in one. And it has a great plot. It has seven seasons and I watched them all in like one and a half month. I know, I was addicted. I love to try and solve the plot in a series. So this was like the ultimate series for me. I remember like in one weekend I would watch like almost a whole season. I was so addicted. <laughs> it wasn't normal anymore. I knew lots of details of the series. I knew exactly what would happen in every episode. Well, not every, but most of them. I watched the series like so often that I still know the theme song. Yeah. I just highly recommend this because it was like a great start of my Netflix series journey. So number two, Gossip Girl is really similar to Pretty Little Liars, but then like um, a bit less scarier. In this series, you can also like solve the mysteries. You have like all these rich people in the Upper East Side and Gossip Girl is like always blogging the scandals of them. It's really a drama series, but I liked it. It's not my favorite series, but if you just want like a pretty well, I don't want to say basic, you should just watch it if you're wondering what to watch next. Number three, Jane the Virgin. The title might be sounding a little weird to you, but I was really curious about it, so I was reading the description and like the whole plot just really surprised me. I was watching the first episode and I remember thinking like, wow, this is like real drama. It's like a drama romance series in one, and if you like Spanish, I recommend it. You know, I really want to learn Spanish, but I don't have it at my school, so that really sucks. Anyway, also another genre of this series is comedy. I just... I just love the jokes, it's amazing. It's just a great series, you have lots of different people to ship. Season 5 just recently came out on Netflix, but I can't watch it because I live in the Netherlands and we don't have it here. Stranger Things. I doubt that you haven't heard anything of the series. It's a Netflix original series. Genres are horror, mystery, well, there are a lot of scary things, but I really like it. I love the cast, especially. There are people almost the same age as me, so I really like that. So not really long ago, it was like the 4th of July. Season 3 came out like after a lot of time so i've been waiting really long for that i watched season three in a couple of days maybe not really fast as i could i think it's like one of the most popular series in the world and i totally understand that i mean the effects are just amazing so yeah this is another great recommendation number five chilling adventures of sabrina if you like some scary things if you like witchy things you should watch this series i thought it was like from the same directors of riverdale i'm not sure there are some pretty good jump scares the series always surprises me with the new ideas they've come up with and it's a great plot it's dynasty dynasty is I can say one of my favorite series on Netflix. I didn't expect that I would like this kind of a series because it's like business stuff, but it has a lot of drama in it. 
plot twists and actually my parents know this series because this is like a renewed version of it of the story while the storyline isn't the same i guess it has two seasons and i can't wait for the third one atypical i think i'm pronouncing it right atypical atypical this series is about a boy with autism it's pretty different compared to my other series that i usually watch it shows you like different perspectives of people how Jay handle his illness and it's also pretty emotional other than that there's a lot of stuff going on romance for example I really like it it's also really cute you you is pretty creepy actually and I heard Shay Mitchell was gonna be playing in this series I thought I have to watch it and also in Batchley Shay Mitchell is from Pretty Little Liars and Penn Batchley is from Gossip Girl. The whole series is basically about stalking. That is what makes it creepy. I really don't know why I like this series, but let's just say it all started with the actors. I heard there will be also coming a season 2. I just find it a really interesting series. I have no words for this series, I just completely fell in love with it in a short amount of time. You have probably like 100% heard of The Vampire Diaries. It took a while before I would start watching this. I actually started watching it in the beginning of 2019. Everyone around me was like, oh wow, Vampire Diaries is like such a good series. I heard it everywhere on YouTube on the internet like at school it was crazy so i was like hmm, maybe it's a little overrated but you know i started reading the description and i thought why not give it a chance and it changed my life <laughs> there's a lot going on in the series there's it's just almost the same like Harry Potter. You have to know a lot of stuff to understand like everything. But it was worth it. You have like lots of different stuff. You have vampires, which is... It's just not only vampires. And that's what makes it interesting. The originals. It's actually a spin-off of the Vampire Diaries. And this is about the original family. You'll understand if you have watched the Vampire Diaries. After watching the Vampire Diaries, I just really appreciated this spin-off. It's like the story is expanding itself to a completely different perspective. The Vampire Diaries was like in Mystic Falls, but the originals is in New Orleans. It feels like it's a whole different story, but still it's like the same. I don't know how to explain it, but you should just watch it. It's, it's really great. When I was in America this summer, I could watch Legacies. That's like another spin-off of the originals. Like, it just keeps on going. It's really good. But make sure you just watch them in the right order. Now I'm gonna tell you some other series that didn't quite make it to my top 10 but are also really good. 13 Reasons Why. People have been talking a lot about this series and I understand why. It's just a really happy series because it's about suicide. I think the cast is really good. I just heard that season three is coming on August 23rd. I also have the book of 13 Reasons Why. So at this moment, I'm watching Teen Wolf. I have finished season 1. I really like it. I like the plot. It's great so far. I knew Dylan O'Brien from the movies The Maze Runner and I also knew Tyler Posey. So yeah, these were my favorite series on Netflix. As you can see, I really like Netflix. So this is my video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye!